my Wi-Fi a little bit to wake up there. So, I see there's been some people talking already. <clears throat> Scotty and old mucker, good morning. Oh, maybe? <laughs> or is this left over from yesterday? Oh my goodness. Have you been sat here all this time waiting? Tori, I'm late. I'm going to have to catch up now because it's, it's right there in the chat. You've both been chatting. That's wonderful. Let me turn the light on. Yes, it is exhausting looking after somebody um, full time, especially when you have to uh, do for them. Hi! <laughs> Good morning. You're looking for another bike or two? Wow! That'd be wonderful, old mucker. Oh, you know what? I'd love one of those three wheelers that are out now. Those big, chunky three wheelers. Can you imagine? A little me sitting on one of those. I'd be like a little gremlin. Ring, ring, ring. Be rather. It's okay, baby. It's all right. It's all right, Panther. It's all right, honey. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. A poor old cat. Sometimes she gets she's blind, and sometimes she gets a little bit lost. So I have to. Um, when she calls out, I call out, and um, I um. Then she kind of gets a, a bearing because of where I am, where she is from hearing my, hearing my voice. You almost got killed last year on your bike. Oh my gosh. Someone of you, oh I'll have to check that out. Oh look, and, well I'm not sure if I want to check it out or not. Oh my gosh. Did you catch the whole thing on camera? That's scary. Yeah, those new trikes that are out now, I mean, they look amazing. Could have so much fun on one of those. I'd get the one that has the f one single wheel at the front and the two wheels at the back. Because the one with two wheels at the front and a single wheel at the back looks a bit awkward to um, steer. Because you're fighting two wheels instead of just one. Oh, I have a lot of fundraiser. Thank you for mentioning that, Scotty. And for thinking about it. I have a lot of fundraiser ideas. Um, it's a matter of implementing them by myself. It's not easy for me to do. Um, and there's nobody here that I can trust um, to run anything for me if I put forth the idea and you know do the bits that I can do from you know in-house type thing um, cause I, I did many many years ago a long time ago organize um, mid to high end craft shows. I used to also attend them because I used to, you know, make stuff to sell myself. 
which I'm trying to get back towards making some things to sell, but um, it's not so easy. I need a desk, because mine was stolen. Um, thank you, honey. There are things I can. It's a lot easier, I think, in the UK to, you know, do bake sales. Or, um, the old fashioned jumble sales. Uh, you know, sponsored walks. They're, they're into things more like that in the UK than over here. Um, I think there's a lot less going into organising something like that than there is in organising um, like a craft show. With a craft show you have to have somewhere that has enough space to allow for, you know, 10 by 10 sections so that uh, the crafters can bring their, you know, own tables, if they have the tents, the craft tents, they can bring their own tents um, for shelter. Um, you have to plot it all out. You have to plan it all out. Don't keep telling me very bad connection. We're supposed to be using data. It's just a lot easier to do it that way. Yeah, I will. Mm. Okay, I'll watch, yeah, I'll re-watch that. I think I watched that one already. I have to check it. I know I've watched most of them. I can't remember what each one is called. It's just, uh, I'm along for the ride, me. <laughs> it's a fun ride. There is something that I'm been working towards, um, but and it's something that I really want to do um, because I love of my love of dancing, but um, it's not easy to do when you're not taken seriously. And plus, I don't drive, so, you know, I won't be able to get myself to locations. Uh, but it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm certainly working on. And I'll, I'll, um. Well, what I want to do, you've seen the, what's called the flash mob. Um, that's where people, good morning, hello. We have four people here now. Slow and steady. <laughs> I was trying to remind myself that. <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> I can remember once complaining to my daughter. Ooh, a long, long time ago. Um, I think it was in 2001. No, actually, it was 2004. It was just before. Just before I bought the studio. Um, I remember complaining to my doctor that I was so slow. And Jeanette, good morning, honey. It's so good to see you. Hello. Hello, Jeanette. <laughs> I hope it's not windy around there <laughs> this morning. <laughs> well, this afternoon. Um, I remember 
complaining that, you know, I was so, my, and my doctor said to me, she said, well, uh, that that's slow on your terms. She says, but who else's terms are you slow on? Because from what she could see, I wasn't being slow at all. The weather's not too bad today. It's raining here, talking about weather. It's raining here. It's not nice. Slow and steady always wins the race. That is so true. The, the tortoise and the, the, the hare. I remember that story. How much do I, do I know? How much lung capacity I have? Oh, you have tests every year. And they said your lung age is 73, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know about lung age. Um, they should actually tell you your lung capacity. Oh. But it's through, you know, spirometry tests and lung function tests along with MRIs. I mean, your lung function test itself will tell you, you know, what your capacity is at. Um, but through the MRIs and the CT scans, they can see how much, you know, how far the damage is. and They can't really see it all because a friend of mine, Brenda, who just recently, well, a few, about three months ago now, had a double lung transplant. Um, she'll be going home sometime this week. Hopefully she's home now. I'll have to text her to see if she's gotten home. Um, but um, she was diagnosed with um, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Um, okay, so you've got 79%. You go by FEV1, honey. So you've got 79%. I'm at 16%. Um, Brenda was, was diagnosed with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And um, when they took her lungs out and they did a biopsy on her lungs and checked her lungs, they actually they found out that she also had emphysema right the way through good similar to mine but hers was a little bit hers was a little bit worse than mine but um, yeah she had and she also had end stage emphysema so you really can't tell a hundred percent what's wrong with your lungs um, I've even heard of people that have had lung biopsies done. Not open lung biopsies, but, you know, uh, they've, they've also had lung biopsies done. And, and when they've had a transplant, they've found out they've had other lung diseases or a completely different lung disease than what they had been diagnosed with in the first place. Um, they haven't been able to do a bronchoscopy on me. Because I was that bad by the time I got to meet my pulmonologist. And of course that's my fault. <laughs> I was being stubborn in the wrong way. There's a right way to be stubborn and a right time to be stubborn. And there's a wrong way and a wrong time to be stubborn. Oh, Victoria Sponge. Oh, oh my gosh, Jeanette. Delicious, absolutely delicious. It's time for a cup of coffee. Okay, we're all going over to Jeanette's house. Yeah, I'm going to be checking out. Let's go check out. Let's go check out Jeanette's YouTube page. Shall we? Spaghetti bolognese. Oh my gosh. 
gingerbread cupcakes. Do you know I just made, and I forgot to do a video of it, I just made um, ginger gems, um, which are like ginger drop gems. They're like a little biscuit, um, or as they say in the States, a cookie. An evening with Mrs. P. Uh huh. Okay. You know what? I'm not even so. I'm sorry. I thought I was subscribed to you, Jeanette. But I am now. That's for sure. Lovely kid. Good morning. Welcome from Japan, sweetie. Good morning, honey. I hope you got a cuppa. We'll be doing some stretches soon. So I hope you're ready to do some workout. It's nothing too serious. We're not going to be bouncing around. We're not going to be jumping about. We're not going to be tying ourselves in knots. We're just going to be doing some nice, easy stretches to wake up. Ah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's so good to see you too. I'm doing good, honey. Um... I'm a little squeaky, but I'm still working on my cups of tea. Um, for some reason, when I have a breathing, when I do not, you know, immediately after my breathing treatments, I'm kind of like squeaky. Um, yes, it's your FEV1 that tells you your lung capacity. Well, your lung function, not your lung capacity. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, it does. They go by your FEV1. It tells you what your lung function is you, and your, 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 your lung capacity. And yeah, you, it does go down as you... It, it can go down as you get older. Um, but not usually by that much. It's just a cough. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> um... um um, it does go down, but not usually by that much. Um, it, it, it's, it, it's, so I don't know why they said you have the lungs of a 79 year old. Hmm. Hmm. to figure out how to turn off these notifications, the silly things. Did I eat something nice today? Not yet. There we go. And we're back. I think. Come on, get moving. Set up. But my kitty, he's actually sleeping right now on the foot of my bed. Um, sometimes he does that. I mean, cats don't usually move too easily when they get hot. But thankfully he does. Thankfully he does. Um. I have actually seen him laying out in the sun and I've had to go in and get him. I mean go out onto the deck because he goes out on the deck sometimes. So I've had to go out and get him and bring him in and he's all, all hot and floppy and, and looking at me like, why'd you do that mom? But, um, okay, thank you, old mucker. I shall read that, honey. Do I like grits? 
Um, no. Good morning, hello, Sandra. Oh, I better not shout too much. My dog will start barking. I'll wake my hubby up. <laughs> hello, Sandra. Good morning, honey. It's so good to see you. Welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> um, grits. Um, um, kind of similar to oatmeal, but really not oatmeal. It, it's it's hard. Sandra, can you explain grits? <laughs> Please. Um, no, it's not corn cakes. No, no, not corn cakes. It's kind of like, um, kind of like, um, I, I don't know how, but it's nasty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, it's, um, <laughs> it, it's just not nice at all. It's um, tasteless. Um, the texture is kind of hard. Um, I, I really don't know how else to explain it. Yes, it is made from corn. It's corn, yeah, coarse meat. That's it, then boiled. And it, it's, it's, the boiled bit. <laughs> it has no taste. Oh, thank you, Japan. Thank you so much. Bless your heart. I love you too. It's good to see you here. I've seen you. You know, we usually bump into each other on other live streams, but I'm so so glad you stopped by. Yes, we're gonna be doing some stretching soon. Yeah, how many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Now, yes, it can be served with other flavorings, but <laughs> thank you, fire. <laughs> it can be served up with other flavorings, but I have yet to come across anyone serve it up with other. Me, I'm always happy. Not always. I do have my moments where I'm not not too happy. And it also depends on, you know, people's... I, I have a tendency to pe pick up people's attitudes around me. Ah. I always 10.45 p.m. there. Oh, my gosh. So early morning for me is a good time for people in Japan then. That is so good. That's good to know. Yeah, I've 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 yet to come across anyone that flavors their grits over here. They usually have plain grits. It's a southern mush. <laughs> That's true, fire. It is. It is. It is. Yes, everybody. Lovely Kid Japan really is in Japan. It's um, it's it's wonderful that uh, I'm so happy you made it. <laughs> I'm so happy you made it. You put butter and jam in grits. Yeah. See. I, like I, I've never really come across anybody that 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 um, flavors it. Everyone that I've come across, they put a little bit of butter in it, and it's like, well, if I'm gonna eat that, I think I'd rather slather it in butter. <clears throat> yes, there is that connection. There is that connection, lovely Japan, and it's a wonder. It's wonderful to have that connection. I have that connection. With, with everybody here in the chat, I mean, even Jeanette, we've only just recently met a couple of days ago, but there's that, there's that connection.
there is that connection and it is it's 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 it's, it's, it's a wonderful connection to have um there's a friend of mine who lives in New Zealand right now and I'm if you could go to her website, her name is um, Bad Pom. B A D P O M. Bad Pom. Um, she's also struggling with um, emphysema, and um, she's having a bit of a rough time right now. So, if you could all look her up, actually. You know what? I could do that, couldn't I? Being being that I have control over the room, I can actually do that. I can put her Suzetta. Okay. Ha ha. I'm learning this stuff. I am learning. Come on. Copy and paste. Let's see if this works. Yes! <laughs> yes, I've learned something new today. I'm so happy. I could go to bed now. <laughs> oh, you have a good friend in Japan from New Zealand. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, anyway, that's her. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love learning something new, and especially when it's so easy to learn. Yes! <laughs> uh, oh, you subbed her today, Scotty? Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so if you could all go and sub her and give her some, some support. Um... That would be nice, thank you. Um, she is a lovely lady. Um, she does have a good sense of humor too. That's one thing I will say. She's the friend that um, you know I I haven't commented on her videos a lot lately because I talk with her, and unfortunately I haven't really had that one-on-one -on -one connection with her. It's been a couple of weeks, so I need to get get hold of her um and make sure yeah laughing is good laughing is good it, it when, you, when you laugh you release more feel-good endorphins in the brain which then of course helps the rest of your body it is good medicine it is good medicine that is so true honey that is so true I've I've been I've been oh my gosh I can remember um, when my migraines were out of control and I'd have to end up going to hospital because you know I'd be vomiting all day long the pain and oh it was just don't even um, <laughs> as the teenagers say today don't even um, what up the city I'm in? I'm in Kansas, honey. Well, that's the state that I'm in. But yeah, that's the city that I'm in too. Um, I could even laugh. I could well, I couldn't laugh, but I could crack a joke with the um, with the nurses, you know, and kind of crack a smile with with tears rolling down my cheeks because I was in that much pain. But I could still crack a joke, and even the nurses used to say to me. And, you know, in, in this the mess you're in, you're still joking. And it's like, can't help it. Can't help it. And I've had doctors that gauge how bad I'm feeling by my, how quick or how slow my humour comes through. Wow, that's amazing. Watching comedies, she helped to heal herself. That's amazing. That really is. That's wonderful to know. 
unfortunately I'm, I'm well not unfortunately I'm thankful that I'm I'm starting to sleep a bit more during you know I'm sleeping better and during the night which is a good thing because sleep is essential I have noticed you're like that with your chronic pain too yeah we have to we have to find humor in what we go through because if I mean I know a lot of people can't um, and, I, and I feel I really my heart goes out to people like that because that's you know they feel that bad that they can't find their humor yeah yeah yes it is I'm really happy um it's I would say about five months ago one of the doctors you know asked me um, how my sleep schedule is and my husband straight away said she doesn't have a sleep schedule and the doctor looked at him and she said she really doesn't she really doesn't sleep for all she complains she sleeps too much she really doesn't sleep that much which when I think about it Yes, sleeping before 10 p.m. causes happy hormones in the body, which is best. Yes. Yes, that is true. I mean, for all I try to get to bed at 11 p.m., around 11 p.m., I can guarantee you there are many, many, many nights I'm sat there asleep on the sofa. <laughs> and I wake up in time to come to bed. So, yes, we all have, which is really nice because we can all understand each other. You know, we all have some form of chronic illness. And I, I think it's nice that we can all support each other. Do you fall asleep too on the couch a lot, Sandra? Yeah, it's... Um, I try not to, I try not to, but I don't even realize that I'm falling asleep. Um, occasionally I'll be able to pull myself around because my hubby will say, Oh, you're sleeping, are you? And we're supposed to be watching a movie. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, not sleeping. Just checking the inside of my eyelids, that's all. It has magical powers. <laughs> yeah. Come, sit on me and sleep. Sit on me and sleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you have uh, managed to keep your sense of humor. Now, see, Jeanette, this is one thing that I will say to everybody. I will never tell anyone there is someone worse off than you. It doesn't matter what kind of pain you're going through, whether it's physical or emotional um, whether it's severe or what's classed as minor because to me pain is pain and pain is personal and it really does not help a person to say that there is somebody worse off than you um, when a person is in the depths of their pain, that pain, it has to be acknowledged. You, you, you can't diminish a person's pain. Yes, we are more empathic to others too. Em empathetic to others too. That is so true. Um... It really, you know, it, struggles are struggles. It doesn't matter what type of struggle it is. Um, for what might seem to be a minor struggle to us, to another person that's going through it, it could be the worst struggle of their life. And they could be, you know, uh, clinging on 
and by you know their nails to get through whatever it is struggle they're going through um, so I, I will never tell any of you and I will never compare what any of you are going through with what anyone else is going through I will never do that I will never do that so don't do it to yourselves unless it helps yourself if it helps yourself to think that oh well there's other people that are worse off than me then that's okay you can oh, I can't breathe Quincy So you've been my stalker on the morning. <laughs> I had a feeling it was you. Oh, good morning, honey. I'm so happy you decided to jump in and chat. Everybody, say good morning to Quincy. Good afternoon where, and good evening wherever you're from. He is an, an amazing gentleman. If Oh, my God. Oh gosh, I can't read now. <laughs> you took my breath away. Quincy has been a rock for me. And now he, he needs a rock too. He needs he needs he needs all our love. He works so hard. He works nights. Oh honey. One of these days I'm going to meet you in person and you're just going to get bowled over with the biggest hug that I could ever give you. <clears throat> oh gosh, oh man, that's <laughs> Quincy. <laughs> it's so good to see you honey, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm beaming, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm lost for words now. Hey. Yeah, I wish I could wave a magic wand to Jeanette and, and take it all away from everybody. You think the girl is smitten? <laughs> Which girl? Which girl? Oh, oh me? Nah, maybe a little bit. Nah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, Japan. I, I, I will never tell anybody they have to be positive. What I will tell somebody is remain stubborn. Because it's not humanely possible to remain positive all the time. But we all have that stubbornness in us. You were smoked first. <laughs> oh my gosh, Quincy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am I am just bald over. I am so happy that you've finally said good morning to everybody. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Mm, I, I try not to let it get me down to Jeanette, but you know there are times when it does. This is cool, Pi. It really is. It's um I've been I've been trying to, you know, get Quincy to 
to join in. Um, he is, he's on his way home. I guess you're on your way home now, Quincy, or are you out for breakfast right now? Um, but it's not, it's not easy working nights. You know, our system really isn't, um, developed for working nights, although some of us, you know, might say we're a night person, but that's okay on um, our terms. But when you're having to stick to a certain schedule <clears throat> and push your body through nights and you, you, you ch constantly, you, you, you have to change your internal clock completely around. And um, it, it really doesn't help. Yes, you see, old Mucker here works day and night, and he's losing his teeth. So what's that tell you? <clears throat> Onwards and upwards. That's a good one. That's a good one too, Jeanette. That's a good one. You know, there are, there are times I say that I give up. I give in. I give up. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this no more. I'm done. I give in. And I kind of like, you know, dig myself into a little hole. But that doesn't, you know, I don't, it doesn't stay there because there is, I don't think we ever truly give up because there's always something right down in the, in, in, our, in, in our boots that keeps saying, you know, keep going, keep going. Doesn't matter, you know, open your eyes a little bit earlier tomorrow. Get up one more time tomorrow. Let's let's open the curtains a little crack tomorrow. There's always something that keeps pushing us to keep going. And as long as there's that little that says that spark is there, I don't think we all truly give up. <clears throat> no, I can't see you being ready to give up neither, Jeanette. I mean you've got too much in you. You got too much to give, girl. You got too much to give. Oh, you're not working today? There's a new process. <clears throat> you're still there, Quincy? Oh, honey. That's some long hours. I hope they give you some time off. But it probably won't, will they? That's long hours, sweetie. You're going to be there a while? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry, Quince. You're going to really deserve a break after all this. How long is this new process going to go on for? Do you know, Quincy? Exactly, Jeanette. We're all still keep going. We're all still here for a reason. Um, and sometimes it's not for us to know that reason. It's just for us to keep going. You know, keep doing what we're doing because I know there's many a time I hear people wanting to know what their purpose is here on life. Well, if you look at what you do um, and how you connect to others, then maybe that's your purpose. I mean, we don't have to have a purpose. There could be many reasons why. Exactly, Jeanette. We all have something that we're here for. The meek surely never the other. Well, yeah, that's true. And I'm telling you, Quincy will be high among among them. He's 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 um he's a real gentle soul.
and find back up again. Okay, I get you. Oh, Quincy. Oh my goodness, honey. That is going to be a long process. Exactly in Japan, it's, I, I think it, you know, it, it's accepting each other for, for, for who we are, you know, it's actually, um, there's the movie Avatar, um, I love that movie, um, cause it's the epitome of, of, of me. Of, of who I am inside. All right, Sandra. You got things to do, girl. Places to go, people to meet, and all that kind of stuff. Even if it's just the dust bunnies. <laughs> Take care, honey, and it's so good to see you. <clears throat> Have a wonderful day. Love you bunches. Love you bunches. Um, yeah, it's having the ability to really see somebody, to, to see, you know, beyond the, 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 the exterior to, to see, you know, that each one of us really are a beautiful soul. We really are, you know, have, you know, that, that really nice light within, um, just some people are not able to let that light shine. Um, and I feel for those people. I really do. Um, there might be times sometimes they, 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 you know, they irk me and make me, uh, you know, kind of like, Ugh! but um, <laughs> I really do feel for them. Yes, Jeanette. Yes, Jeanette. I, I can just see that you are the glue that holds every your family together. You you have um, such a wonderful presence about you. You have a great sense of humor. And a good mind. <clears throat> Picking up and washing everybody's dirty. <laughs> okay, Sandra. It's one of them days. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's got windy here. Wow. Okay, everyone. Well, Sandra's going to go off and do her stuff. We're going to do some stretches right now this morning. Uh, sit tall, stand tall, however you do it. <clears throat> and we're going to put our arms out to the side and hold. And remember these are these exercises are to help keep your ligaments, your muscles and your joints moving. It also helps your core. And remember to breathe while you're doing them. And down. And we are no bouncing while you stretch because the bouncing actually can cause damage. And the right arm up. And you will actually feel it all the way down the side as well as in your shoulder. And the back of your shoulder. 
and hold up. And I'll give it a little wiggle if you need to, or a roll actually. Don't give it a wiggle, give it a roll. And up with your left arm. Well, I'm glad they gave you some tips to help speed it along, Quincy, because expect <laughs> wiggle and roll. <laughs> wiggle roll. Um, it's it's ridiculous expecting yeah. Okay. It's expect it's it's ridiculous expecting you to stay that long. It's not right. And down. <sighs> Good. I'm glad you are doing it. And the next one is not easy. Both arms up from the side and up as high as you can. This one I'm having trouble with, so I need to do this a little bit more during the day and hold and hold as long as you can don't push it and down and roll your shoulders get them to relax out I'm having this horrible, I'm noticing I'm walking, I'm really bringing my shoulders up tight like this, so I'm trying to be more conscious of, of keeping my shoulders back and down and my head up, because my spine is tending to do this, and that's bad for your breathing too. It's not easy for us with um, severe lung disease to breathe in deep, so we really need all the space that we can get to breathe in. Okay, and out in front, and hold. And remember to breathe, and then from this position, we're going to bring our arms straight up, which I can get them a little bit closer together when I do this kind of movement, but I still feel it. <laughs> I still feel it. And relax. You moan at him rather than nagging, huh? Because I've noticed that somebody in my house suddenly doesn't know how to wash dishes. So every time I go through into the kitchen, it's like, oh. <laughs> I don't want to be stood at the sink washing dishes again. Okay, and we're going over to the left with the right arm. And you use your opposite arm to hook it and then pull in towards your body. But gently. Don't don't pull in so far that it hurts. That's not what we're here to do. We're not here. We don't use the terms no pain, no gain because when you have problems like we do, causing yourself pain is not good. <clears throat> oh, I have to look up that powder. And then turn over. Yeah, 
Yes, that's true. We are part of their care. We are their caregivers, but... Yes, it is nice when it's 50-50. It really helps. Uh, Fred, you sat on the loop. <laughs> well, you could do this too when you're sitting on the loop, Fred. You can do this anywhere. <laughs> this is not those type of exercises where you tie yourself in a knot and then down and relax. Well, I'm glad you're with us, Fred. <laughs> I'm glad you're still with us. <laughs> I hope you got a comfy seat. You're doing the exercises too? Well, good. Good. And then we're going to just sit and relax for a bit. <clears throat> Well, yes, unfortunately, um, lovely kid. <laughs> I hope you've got a window you can open up there, Fred. It does help when you look after each other, Pyre. I mean, that's really how it should be. You know, watching out for each other and being there for each other. <clears throat> um, yeah, lovely kid. Um, there is a, a way of, of what... <laughs> Red's turning green. <laughs> Get that window open. Turn the extractor fan on, Fred. <laughs> um... There is actually a way to do it. <laughs> Don't ask. Pyre is in the bathroom. <laughs> um, it, it is. Um, there is a way of doing dishes that actually can make it easier for us. And, um, and I, I had to smile, you know, watching Tessie's um, video about washing dishes because that's how I've, I was taught to do dishes. Um, <clears throat> you know, when, when we were young by my, by my Freddy stretching his bowels. <laughs> good one, Jeanette. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. Um, I keep saying I'm going to have to write these terms down. I'm going to have to. I think they'll be good on some t-shirts. <laughs> Don't you? Um. <clears throat> you can only lay in prayer. <laughs> oh, my dear. Yeah, I, I figured that's what you meant. Oh, you can only just breathe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Fred, you just crack us up. There always has to be one in the group. <laughs> He's doing his stretching exercises. <laughs> his bowel stretching exercises. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm going to be doing a video very soon um, because somebody, I've been asked by several people how I've managed to turn, turn things around from how I was. I mean, Quincy has known me since my worst, I was, since I was at my worst to, 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 um, to seeing how I'm. I've, how I've, I wouldn't say progress, but improved slightly, um, I guess, in a, in a big way I've improved, um, but I'll be doing a, a video on how I, I managed to, to turn things, I'll be doing a video, stop it, 
I can see I keep buffering. I'll be doing a video on how I managed to turn the corner and, and turn things around. You know, even with just 16% lung function. Um, and it's not something that's a, this is what you should do. It's, it's what helped me and hopefully it will help some other people too. You know, it will help others. Exactly, Japan. Um, we, my, my grandmother, you know, taught us, and my mother has been teaching us, obviously. <laughs> oh, dear God, stop it, Quince. Um, I'm just little old me. <laughs> I'm just little old me. It's... At the time when I met Quincy, had had I not met Quincy, I don't think I would have been where I am today. Because he really held me up through some some really tough times. Um, And I am very, very grateful. I'm going to start crying. I'm not going to cry. I'm really grateful. I am forever grateful, actually. I am forever grateful for, for his uh, support and care and love. Thank you, Quincy. And Mr. Q. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, my grandmother used to be in, um, in, in, in what she called in service. She used to work in the old, some of the old, old houses. Um, you know, where they had, um, kitchens, cooks, housemaids. Um, she used to clean out the old fireplaces, you know, when they used to use coal. Uh, um. She was a, a scullery maid, so she did a bit of all sorts, and um, she learnt the ways of 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 doing. Doing things. They the way things are in Japan. It amazes me. I saw a. A um, documentary on how people, uh, so many people are walking around with it with the, the ear thing is in, you know, watching their phones or, or listening to their devices, and nobody was looking at each other and nobody was t talking. Pardon me. And I, 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 I was like, wow. You know, I mean, I've seen, I've seen kids, you know, we see kids in the shopping malls, we see kids in the street, you know, I see them walking home from school, you know, constantly in, in their stuff. Um, and it, it just, just blows my mind. Yeah, a tin bath in front of the fire. Yeah, I remember doing that in my grandma's house too. Um, and having a bath once a week. Saturday night was bath night. The rest of the week you got to wash from top to bottom in the in the sink. Mm. And you didn't run the water, neither. You filled the sink of water. Okay, honey. It's so good to have you. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you made it. Hopefully you'll be able to make it again. <laughs> you always speak to me. <laughs> oh. 
I am so happy for you, Tina, that you have that kind of relationship with your husband. And give him a huge hug from me. And, and tell him thank you for being the amazing man that he is. Tell him we love him. We love him. And sleep well, honey. Hopefully we'll still see you again. So it seems like 7 o'clock my time is a good time to come on. Because then everyone is still around. Yeah, the boiler to heat water. Yeah, that was a great invention, wasn't it? And I tell you what, I was amazed. And in fact, <laughs> I set my coat on fire. The um, They're only just coming, seem to be coming out over here, and that's on-demand gas water heaters. Um, we've had them for, for, oh gosh, many, many years over in the UK. Hugs to you too, sweetie. We had them um, for a long time over in the UK. And they had to be vented through the wall outside. And the vent for the one, for the first one that I was familiar, that I became familiar with, was in my stepfather's house. And it was next to the back door. And I had a coat with a hood on and it was hot out. So I took and I draped it over the vent. I didn't know that that would heat up enough to set my coat on fire. Somebody in the house had turned the hot water on. The on-demand heater came on. The heat vented out through... And the gas is vented out through the vent like it's supposed to. And whoosh, up went my winter coat. Oh, my gosh. I was in so much trouble. But I didn't know. Thank goodness they're not like that today. Thank goodness they are not like that today. I was like, oh, shit. I'm in deep, deep, deep. I'm in deep now. Oh, man. I was ready to run away from home. William, good morning, honey. Hello, good morning. It is horrible, Pi. I mean, could you imagine? I mean, my stepfather never warned us that that could happen. And I, I guess it just never crossed his mind because he wasn't used to having young children around. But could you imagine if we'd have been, if, I'd have, if any of us have actually been touching that vent? Had someone switched on, I mean, we would have been burnt. Oh gosh, the color TV. The, the front, yeah, the wash machine. I remember my grandma had the wash machine with the roller that you had to roll. Yes, nowadays they are all the norm. The, the wash machine, the cover TV. We didn't have a TV until I was in my early teens, or thereabouts. Um, and the tumble dryer, when that first came out. The tumble dryer, oh my gosh. I mean, even now, over in the UK, they still hang the clothes out. Well, um, the majority of older people do hang the, the older generation, I should say, hang their clothes out because, it, you know, using a tumble dryer is so expensive. Yep. With the roller and wash everything by hand. Oh, my gosh. Black and white and get up to change the channels. <laughs> there, there was no being lazy back then, that's for sure. <laughs> there was no there was very little channel surfing back then too. I mean there weren't that many channels. 
but there were there was there was very little channel surfing um <laughs> which which i have to get control over the remote because it either stays on cnn on the news which i don't watch the news because it's it's not good news to watch or the channel is constantly chase changing boom 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 and i'll go oh wait okay never mind that was 10 channels back never mind you 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 very go so i i i always get the remote <laughs> i always get the remote Yeah, there are specific ch there are specific um, channels that I like to watch, and there are specific shows that I like to watch. I don't really watch that much TV. Um, sometimes I have the TV on um, just as background noise. Um, there was one time I would have it on twenty four seven for background noise, um, but not anymore. So. You know, I am starting to be, feel more relaxed. And, and not, um, no, I wouldn't say not afraid by the silence. But I'm feeling more comfortable in the, in, in the silence again. Yeah, we only used to have one of those little small fridges. They now call them apartment fridges. But and it had an ice box in it about this big, about yay deep. And it's funny because a lot of the stuff in it that we I mean that was food for the week. But then again we didn't keep everything in the fridge like over here. I don't think they do still do in the UK, but over here in the states, especially in some of the the um, in the hotter states, everything is kept in the fridge. Um, you know, so it doesn't over ripen or or so it doesn't go off. But there are many things that are kept in the fridge that don't need to be kept in the fridge. That I've been finding out. So now I've taken to reading labels. Of anything that we buy as to whether it needs to be kept in the fridge or not um, and of course I'm buying less and less less and less processed stuff I've never been one for processed stuff but the old man has so um, I mean, even now, every once in a while, he, he goes out and, um, which actually I'm, I'm thankful for that he'll do that and he's quite happy with it. He'll go and buy um, some of the already prepared meals. Emma! Good morning, honey! It's so good to see you! Hello! Hello, Emma! We did some stretching once already, but we're going to do some more soon. We're still stretching our upper body. Are you up for some stretching this morning, Emma? Yes, she is. She's up for it. Good girl. How are you this morning, Emma? <laughs> How are you this morning, honey? We were you're doing fine now. Is that a good fine or just I'm I'm an okay kind of fine? Um, we've just been talking about the um, miracles of modern technology, uh, things like the color TV and. Oh, don't you disconnect. Her. Yeah, the...
Color TV fridge. It's a good find. Wonderful. That's good. That's good to hear. Because my sister has always told me when I say fine, she knows that I really am not too good. All right, Quincy. <laughs> Everybody's wondering who's in the office with you. Tell them it's a ghost. <laughs> I love you, Quincy. Thank you for thank you for chatting. And uh, I had a feeling it was you that was um, that was stalking me on the morning. I kept seeing that one of you. It doesn't tell me who's there. Just says that there's one person there. But thank you, honey. Big hugs. I love you. Take care, sweetie. I'm doing good this morning. I'm doing good this morning, Emma. It's it's a wonderful morning. So, okay, we're going to do some stretch out again. Hopefully the guys are still with us. I'm not sure if they're lurking out there somewhere. Okay, we are going to, we're just going to, first of all, hold our arms out shoulder length, shoulder height, I mean, and just hold. And the longer you hold that, the longer you'll start to feel it. All right, Pyre. Take care, honey. You be well, too. Be good. <laughs> if you can't be good, be careful. Don't get caught. <laughs> if you're going to cheat. Okay, and then arms down and relax. And as I said earlier, these stretches, no bouncing when you stretch, neither. I know that used to be the thing back then, but it can actually cause you more harm than good. Bye-bye, Pia. Take care, honey. And then you're going to take your right arm and you're going to hold it at the side of your ear and above your head. As high as or as straight up as you can get it. Reach for the sky and you will feel the stretch all the way down that side. And these help to open up your core. They'll also help with your lungs. They help your joints and it help your muscles and your tendons. Because as we start getting up there in age... Things start to seize up a little bit on us, and they don't maneuver as well as we want them to. And then down. And also remember to breathe while you do this. Okay, your left arm up to the side of your ear. And reach as high as you can. And again, you should feel that all the way down your side. And try and keep your shoulders relaxed down. I'm telling myself that too. And then down. And try and sit or stand as tall as you can so you open up your rib cage. Okay, now we're going to bring both arms up, which is the one that I have problems with. As high as you can. And try and keep your arms as straight as possible. And here comes my little boy. And hold. And down. Oh, that one I feel down my back. That's true. The muscles down my back. Okay. And then we're going to hold them out in front. Again, shoulder width apart. No, don't rub my phone. Hee <laughs> hee, shoulder width apart. 
If you can, if you can't bring them this high, that's okay. If you can't hold them for as long, that is okay too. Do it to how you can do it. There is no you must do in these. Lie down, baby. Sorry about the phone wiggling. The cat is, is, is rubbing his cheek on everything. Okay. No. And then from this position, we're going straight up. Now I can bring my arms up easier this way to the side of my head. Because we're using a different set of muscles and tendons and the rotation of your shoulders is a bit different too. And again, you should feel that all the way down into your core. And then relax. And if you need to, give your shoulders a little roll. That'll help to relax them down. Oh, you relax too. That's a good baby. Good boy. And then we're going to take our right arm across. And then you hook with your left arm. Now don't pull in too much to your body, you just hold, if you can pull in a little bit more, pull in, if you can't, just use your left arm to hold the pose, breathe, hold as long as you can, don't turn your torso, and then relax. And we're going to do the same thing with the left arm. Hook with your right arm. And then hold. And relax. And roll your shoulders. Bring your shoulders back around to the front. And these are, will help with the range of motion. It will help to open up your rib cage. It will help your core muscles. And if you can do those as often as you can during the day while you're sat or you're stood, you can actually even do them while you're laying in bed. Um, maybe I should do a, a video one day. Um, if I can get a phone holder, don't go in the tripod. Do a video one day of of of, of um, how to do these while you're laying down. So, did my chat freeze or did I lose everybody? Or were you just really busy doing those exercises with me? Nope, still says I'm still alive. <laughs> I still see myself moving. Havana, Havana, Havana. Okay, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to type something in the chat and see... See how we go. Did I lose you all while I was doing the exercises? Maybe it's just my chat that froze. Nope, it's still there. It's still going. <laughs> okay. I hope you all didn't get tired up. So, anyway. I'll wait until somebody comes back. How you doing, Emma, honey? I know there is a delay and it's quite a bit of a delay actually with with um, my my internet cable company oh you're sleepy this morning young man oh you are so cute yes you are yes you are So, anyway, it is time to go 
it's now 8.45 or 8.44 to be precise um, so let me just so I am going to say good morning Good afternoon, good evening, be well, thank you for joining me, I appreciate each and every one of you, and it is so wonderful that you all join me, um, this time in the morning, or taking a break during your day, um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, for you all. I will probably, well, I'm not sure what I'd probably be doing, but I wouldn't be doing this, that's for sure. Um, which is a good thing that I'm sat here doing this, because it helps me to get going for my day. Um, I'm not sat here twiddling my thumbs, wondering what I will be doing with myself. Now I have the, I'm awake enough to go do something. Um, rather than my day starting in the afternoon, which gets to be a bit frustrating and I'm starting to waffle now. So, I am going to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and I've already said that. I'm repeating myself, which is a sign of age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we won't accept that one. It's just one of those things that happens. And, um... I love you all. Thank you. Remember, keep stretching. And one step at a time, one breath at a time. We, I, can do this. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.